Hi everybody, it's Camille from Butternut Soap Company, and tonight, because it is night and it has been so hot, that I do not want to do this in the daytime. I really don't. It's so hot. It's even hot in here right now. I'm making a test batch of hand lotion. Today, today, tonight. I always say today because I usually work during the day. So what I have going here is my oils. There are three phases to a lotion. You have your water phase, you have your oil phase, and they're both heated phases. Then you have your cool down phase in which you add all your nice luxury ingredients that are heat sensitive. So in this particular batch, in my water, I have water, glycerin, sodium lactate, and some colloidal oatmeal. And in the oil, I have rice bran, mango, sunflower. I'm using some cetyl esters, IPM, or isopropyl myristate, and some e-wax. And later on, I'm going to be adding this stuff. And in there, I have some aloe times 100 powder. My fragrance oil, which is fudge brownie, since it's just going to be a tester batch, I want chocolate. It's going to be chocolate. So I had to add, of course, some vanilla stabilizer. They make it for lotions, so you can use it for lotions. And, of course, my optifin, my preservative. You cannot make a lotion without a preservative. Very bad idea. Don't ever, ever do it. I've made some really nice lotions lately. But I want, I want one that's just perfect for hands. I think most of us are kind of picky about what we want for a hand lotion. We want it to feel like it's thick and moisturized, but we don't want to feel greasy. And what I've done to a couple of my lotions to avoid that, I've noticed that when I add silk amino acids, it really does do something. It really does, it creates some kind of a barrier. It's very nice. Isopropyl myristate is known for doing that too. I use it in my lotion bars because it just works great. So basically you're going to get these up to 70 degrees. Hang on, I need to switch my... Okay, so I can take that off and let it cool just for a little bit because I want to heat and hold. Sorry about the steam. I want to heat and hold at 70 for about 20 minutes. And this one is just under 70 so I'm going to leave that one on and take that off so it's not steaming over my camera so basically that's all I'm going to do for now is just heat and hold at 70 degrees I don't want my uh, my oil mix to get too hot 70 degrees is perfect so I'll take it off and as soon as it drops back down a little I'll put it back on it's not that hard really it's not that hard it just feels hard in a really hot room. I thought waiting till nighttime would help. I am sweating already. But this pancake griddle, let me tell you what an easy way to do this in your soap room. Because we don't all have like the luxury. I don't, oh, that oatmeal powder. We don't all have the luxury of, uh, you know, having a stove in our soap room. But this pancake griddle, pah, worked like a charm. Works really well. So, I noticed that my water phase, well, yeah, the water, is always a little trickier to get up to the temperature that I want it. But I think I've got it figured out. I don't think it's supposed to be this way, but I'm almost sure that this side of the griddle is hotter than that side. So I'm going to double check my oil here. See, it's still holding because I'm using glass bowls, so it holds the heat really nice. So I'm going to just let these, because they're both at like 72, I'm going to let it cool down a bit, put them back on. And I'm going to pause you, and I'm going to come back when I'm ready to do the phase inversion. So we'll get to that next step when I come back. Okay, we're back. These have been heated to 70 degrees and held for 20 minutes. So the bowls are pretty hot, but you kind of get used to it. Well, I get used to it. And now we're going to dump the water into the oil. This is the first time I've added colloidal oatmeal to my water, so that's why I'm glad I'm, glad I'm doing a test batch because I, I don't really know. I know that hydrolyzed 
oat protein is something popular to put in a lotion, but I've never tried the colloidal oatmeal. I usually just use silk amino acids, and that's kind of what I stick with. But okay, actually, I'm going to move this over a bit, and I'm going to click on this. And whoo-hoo, that's hot. That is hot, though. So water goes into oil. And I was going to say, you know, some people say that you don't have to heat and hold. And the people that say you do, the reason for it is to make sure you're killing killing any nasties that might be in there. And my opinion on that is I'd rather be safe than sorry. I really would. That's not something I'd like to take ch chances on. And same with your bowls. Even though your bowls are clean, you know, you've washed them and you put them away, spritz them with alcohol and just give them a quick wipe with a paper towel because anything that you're adding water to, it, it's you just do not want bacteria. You want to do everything you can to avoid bacteria. Even though you're going to add a preservative, it's just best to make sure everything's been sprayed with alcohol and wiped down and clean. Okay, now usually what I do is I use a stick blender and I usually actually have my bowl swapped out and I think, I don't know, I'm going to try it in here but if it starts to splash around I'm going to put it in this clear thing and see if that works better. But you always want to make sure that when you emulsify your water and your oil to get them properly emulsified you want to add them at the same temperature you don't want one to be you know 15 degrees cooler than the other you want things to be nice and even so I'll try with the stick blender but I am not sure so let's let's watch <laughs> I'm pulsing to be careful because what you can do too is you can accidentally get too much air in there and then you can't get it out and you have a really fluffy lotion but I'm going for creamy not fluffy. Okay, I'm moving my mic because someone had commented that I don't talk loud enough. That's kind of funny because I did say in the comment when I'm in a great mood I think I talk really loud, and when I'm feeling kind of eh, I, my, my tone of voice goes down, and it's late. I don't usually do stuff at this time of night, but I thought it would be cooler. I don't think it's any cooler in here. You know what? I think I am going to transfer this. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep emulsifying this until we get down to about, I don't know, 45, 50 degrees. I wouldn't add any of my extra yummies before that because I don't want to burn them off. I'd rather, I would much rather add them when I know it's safe to add them and then I don't lose all those nice properties. Because what's the point of spending money on those beautiful ingredients and then just cooking them off? Major bummer. You'd still have probably a nice feeling lotion, but not as nice as it could have been. Okay, I'm going to do this. I think this will be better. There we go. It's fully immersed. Now I'm going to move closer to you so you can see a bit better. Does this light help? Let's see. Oh yeah, that helps. <laughs> and you don't have to you don't have to stick one the entire time that it's cooling. Like until you get to your fifty degrees, your forty five fifty. You don't, you don't have to stick blend that entire time. You just want to come back and keep doing it. It's just to make sure everything is coming together the way it should. I'm just going to take a 
take a temperature reading. Okay. That's cooling really quickly. It's giving me 46. I'm not buying it. I wonder if my battery's dying. I don't know if you can see or not. There's bubbles on top. Super easy, just like you would with, you know, your cold process soap. There's a bit of bubbles on top. Uh, rubbing alcohol. Bada bing, bada boom, they're gone. <laughs> given me a caffeine eye serum recipe and of course I had to turn it into a lotion and add a million ingredients but oh my goodness it turned out so nice even my husband loves it because I said you, you're gonna have to be like one of my test monkeys for this one and he kept touching the side of his eyes and going wow that feels so good so I'm so impressed by it so I'm very grateful for the base recipe I just can't help but take a base recipe and go, hmm, what would happen if I added this or added that? That's, that's just the way I operate. I can't help it. can't stop myself. When you have a soap room full of beautiful ingredients, it's so hard not to add them when you can. There are some things where less is more, and there's other stuff where more is more. Okay, it's telling me at about the right temperature, which is really fast. It usually takes longer than that. <laughs> oh, you know why? Duh, because I usually make big batches of lotion, bigger batches. Duh. So, of course, it didn't take that long to cool this off. <laughs> Oh, I think this stuff's going to be so nice. I can't wait to try it. That's the fun of when you start making lotions. You start getting an idea of what's going to feel like what. And, oh, this is going to be so much fun. And can you smell that? Oh, the fragrance is called Fudge Brownie. And it's, oh, oh. It just smells so good. So good. I actually think that scent would probably sell well. It sold really well at Christmas time. Now, a lot of people might go, I don't know. I don't know if I want to use a hand motion that makes me smell like triple dark chocolate brownies. But since it's a test batch... And I'll, I'm making four four ounce little bottles. I'll just give the other four to some testers who actually said, hey, can you make a chocolate bath bomb? And of course I can make a chocolate bath bomb. That's how I feel about that. Of course I can. Okay, so there's our fragrance, our preservative, our aloe. Going in. What a good idea putting it in here. Now, what some people do is they fill their bottles and leave the lid off and let them cool. I don't. I prefer to let it cool. Like I'll put saran wrap on here and then I'll open the edge up so 
any steam can get out. I don't know if some people cover and completely seal it so they don't lose any water in the evaporation. I don't know. I prefer to let things... Well, you know, I wonder if maybe I should be covering it up. Huh. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just cover it up. dropping the camera right in. super thick not like a cream but like a lotion but I want to I don't know yet like I don't know exactly how thick it's gonna be and sometimes you don't know till the next day because it can cool be a certain thickness give it an extra day and you'll notice it got thicker so I let mine cool in the container that I blended in and if I'm making something that's really thick once it's cooled, I just put it in a Ziploc bag, and then I cut the corner off, and I squeeze just like a piping bag, and I, that's how I fill my bottles. It's super easy to do it that way. Okay, I'm going to blend this just a bit more. The only, uh, the only lotion I made that ever separated was my very first lotion. So now there's that paranoia. Oh yeah, and the other additive at the end there was the, the lotion, the vanilla lotion stabilizer. Because I just don't want it brown. I don't know. Usually I want things to, I want the color to match the smell. Not in the lotion. I want this lotion to stay nice and creamy white. <laughs> And the one thing I won't try, I refuse to try, is uh, trying to put some shea butter as one of my oils. Not going to happen with my lotions. Unless maybe I start buying the refined shea butter, because I've always bought the virgin unrefined. Mm, no, it's not, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll try. For now, I'm going to stick with my lotion bars and my lip balms for Shea. And I'll continue to fight that battle as I go. I will say, so far, I mean it hasn't been long since I made that small batch of lip balms, but that lotion bar additive, wow, that stuff is so nice. So nice. If you ever wanted to feel silky, wow. I may even start adding it to my lotion bars, I think. I can't remember exactly what it is. I know it's a derivative of beeswax, but the second part was, I think it started with a P, and I don't even think I tried to pronounce it. But I figured since I had it, I may as well give it a shot, right? See if it makes a difference. See, I want to put it to bed and be done, but I just want to make sure she's mixed. Oh, and I have to show you the little containers that I got. Sorry, I keep pulling away from you. Shame on me. I had it far away because of the, the hot plate, and there was so much steam coming up that I didn't want to wreck my camera. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is mixed. I love you. Please don't separate. See, I think sometimes if you talk to your stuff and 
can tell how wonderful it is and it's marvelous and pretty and gorgeous it might behave better for you it might be the best ever see I'll just give you a little show here now hold that up and see if you can see the bubbles there see how you can see them I don't know if this will reach oh yeah but see this the alcohol just dissolves those bubbles no big deal there's actually not that many the first one I made it was so funny first it was like super fluffy and I was kind of like this is really cool this has such a really cool texture and then how long did it take it took actually I think three days for me to really notice the separation and then go oh fail but you got to keep trying so I'm gonna let this cool and once it's cool I'm gonna see if I can pour it which I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to pour it it'll be too thick I think but I'll put it in a Ziploc bag and fill my little four ounce tester bottles I only have four well I mean I have a ton of them but I'm only gonna fill four and we'll see how it comes out so I'll see you when it comes time to fill the bottles hi guys it's the morning after I bottled, bagged, and tagged these, so to speak. Uh, used a Ziploc bag. I just put the Ziploc in here, folded the sides over, filled it up with this lotion, which actually turned out thicker than I thought. But then as I was putting it in, turned out to be not so thick. But there's air. I'm, ugh, I'm not that great at, especially with these new Ziploc bags. They have like this weird corner that if you cut the tip, it actually cuts a big V. And you know me and my very unsteady hands. Hang on, I'm gonna put some on. I did try it like first, first thing this morning. <sighs> Trying to get my ring off. Smells so good. My husband tried it and he's like, oh, it smells like cake. It does, it smells like chocolate cake. That one's mine. <gasps> oh, I love it. So basically, yeah, I just had it covered for the night took it out and filled my Ziploc bag with it, cut the corner, made a bit of a mess trying to get it in there. Like I said, it cut into that weird little V, but I got it in. And this is quite nice actually with this rice bran. I used 50 per, blah, blah, 15 percent rice bran, 3 percent mango and 2 percent sunflower. And you know, it's got a really nice got a nice feel to it very nice feel to it the one the other one that I made that I added the silk amino acids to which I kind of have that's all of them I find it creates a barrier which is great it's actually great as a body lotion but I don't like it on my hands because even though my hands feel nice and moisturized by the time I'm done rubbing them that barrier that forms makes my hands feel dry and that's not the feel I'm going for I want something in between I like this I don't it might be still a little I'm so picky though you could show me 50 hand lotions and I will probably pick one maybe two that I go okay those are okay this is pretty nice I may mess around some more though so thanks for watching You'll just be happy you didn't see me bottle these. It was just, just be grateful. Just say, yay, I didn't have to watch her do that and listen to her yammer on. I'll be back probably today sometime making liquid soap paste. I have to make some liquid soap paste, and I do have a whole bunch of body lotions to make. So I'll be back to make those. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. Any questions or comments, feel free to ask me down below, and don't forget to hit subscribe. I will see you next time.